In this video, I'm going to show you how to add crypto tokens to your MetaMask wallet using the mobile app. This video is a segment from my MetaMask step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. So if you're still relatively new to MetaMask and you'd like to learn more about it, I'll be sure to leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto hot wallet, including MetaMask. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. Now I'll show you how you can add different tokens to your wallet. And I'll show you how to do this on the Ethereum main network first. So what we'll do is we'll tap up here at the top, in my case where it says Arbitrum 1, and I'll switch the wallet over to the Ethereum main network. Now, at the time we're recording, the Ethereum main network has token discovery. So you can simply search for the name of the token you want to add. If it's compatible with Ethereum, it should come up in the search results and it's very easy to add to the wallet. On other networks, you'll have to manually enter in the contract address for the token on that network, which I'll show you how to do that here shortly. So now that we're on the Ethereum main net, what we would do is come down here and tap where it says import tokens. Then on this page here, we'll just search for the name of the token that we wish to add to the wallet. So I'll tap on the search box right here and let's go ahead and search for Tether, just like so. As you can see, a result has already come up at the top. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. Then I'm going to tap on it again. Now you can see I've highlighted that token. So we'll scroll down here to the bottom and we'll tap on import. And as you can see, I just added Tether to MetaMask on the Ethereum mainnet. Let's go ahead and do one more. So I'll tap down here on import tokens. And this time, let's go ahead and do Chainlink. So I'll search for Chainlink. I can already see a result, so I'll tap on that. Tap on it again, make sure it's highlighted. Scroll down to the bottom and tap on Import. And as you can see, I just added the Chainlink token to MetaMask on the Ethereum mainnet. Now here's how you can do it on other networks. So what I'm going to do is come up here and tap where it says Ethereum mainnet. I'm going to ignore this spam call by tapping on the reject button. <laughs> and I'm going to tap right here on Arbitrum 1. And now I've switched MetaMask over to the Arbitrum 1 network. Now, in the future, MetaMask will likely add token discovery to other networks. But for now, you'll have to manually import the token's contract address for that network in order to add it to your wallet. So here's how to get that done. Now that we're on the Arbitrum 1 network, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to tap where it says import tokens. And on this page here, you'll see a box up here at the top that says token address. And that's where you need to manually paste in the token's contract address for the network that you wish to add it to. And the easiest way to retrieve this information is by visiting a coin registry such as CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. And I'll leave a link to those sites in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Now, sometimes on CoinGecko, you won't find the information you're looking for, but you might find it on CoinMarketCap and vice versa. In other cases, if you can't find the contract address, it could also mean that the token maybe just isn't compatible with that particular network. But here's how you get that information. So I'll demonstrate by using CoinMarketCap. And I'll quickly bring CoinMarketCap into frame. Now that I'm on CoinMarketCap, I can tap on this icon right here to begin a search for the token that I wish to add to the wallet. Let's go ahead and do Tether. So I'll start typing in Tether just like so. And I'll tap here on crypto assets. And now I can see a result right here at the top for Tether. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. Now that we're on Tether's page, we'll scroll down just a little bit. Right down here where it says contracts. And here's where you're going to find all the contract addresses for the network that the token is compatible with. And to see all those networks, you just simply tap right here where it says more. Then you'll get a drop down with all the networks that the token is compatible with. And I'm looking for Arbitrum 1 because I'd like to add Tether to MetaMask on the Arbitrum 1 networks. So we'll just scroll down until we see Arbitrum. And I can see it right here. So what I'll do from here is I'll tap on these two little boxes next to the Arbitrum 1 contract address, just like so. Now I've copied it to my clipboard. So now I'll bring MetaMask back into frame. And you might have to sign back into your MetaMask wallet. It does sign you out after a certain amount of time. So I'm going to quickly put in my password and unlock the wallet again. Now that I've unlocked my MetaMask wallet, I can see that I'm still in the Arbitrum 1 network. So I'm going to come down here and tap where it says import tokens. Now I'm going to paste in that contract address for the Arbitrum 1 network into this box right here for Tether, just like so. Now if I scroll down a little bit, 
you can see under token symbol that MetaMask has detected that this is USDT. So that looks good to me. We'll scroll down a little further and I'm going to tap right here on import. Then I'll tap on import again. And as you can see, I just added Tether to my MetaMask wallet for the Arbitrum One network. So let's go ahead and do one more. I'll tap down here where it says import tokens. And then I'll have to paste in a contract address into this box here for a token that I wish to add to the wallet. So let's go ahead and do Chainlink. And this time I'll demonstrate with CoinGecko. So I'll quickly bring CoinGecko into frame. Now that I'm on CoinGecko, I'll just use the search feature up at the top to search for Chainlink. So we'll tap on the search bar and I'll start typing in Chainlink. I can already see a result down below, so I'll just go ahead and tap on that. And now I'm on Chainlink's page. So from here, we'll scroll down again. And you'll find a section that says info. And right underneath that is where you'll find the contract addresses for all the networks that that token is compatible with. And to see all of those, we'll tap on these three little dots right over here on the right hand side. And of course, I'm looking for the Arbitrum 1 network, and I can see that in this menu right here. So to copy Chainlink's contract address for Arbitrum 1, we'll just tap on these two little boxes right here. Now I've copied that contract address to my clipboard, so I'll go ahead and bring MetaMask back into frame. And of course, MetaMask has signed me out, so I'll have to put in my password and unlock the wallet again. Now that I'm back inside my MetaMask wallet, I can see I'm on the Arbitrum 1 network at the top. So I'm going to come down here and tap where it says import tokens. Then right here in token address, I'm going to paste in Chainlink's contract address for the Arbitrum 1 network, just like so. Now I'll scroll down a bit. I can see under token symbol that MetaMask has detected that this is Link, so that looks good to me. We'll scroll down and tap here on import. Then I'll tap on import again. And as you can see, I just added Chainlink to MetaMask for the Arbitrum 1 network. So that's how you can add tokens to different networks on MetaMask. Now in the future, they'll likely have token discovery for most of these networks. So it might be as easy as just searching for the name of the token, like I did earlier on the Ethereum mainnet. But for now, you will have to manually enter the tokens and that's the process to get that done. And there you have it. That's how you can add tokens to your MetaMask wallet. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other MetaMask tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.